What's up guys? So SEMA's over, FD's over. We've been really slammed here at the shop. We had Chris Forsberg here building his wagon and I was preparing my car for SEMA. So because of that, we were really delayed on putting out more videos, um, but don't worry. We have been filming. We have a lot of content, a couple videos coming out back to back this weekend and uh, next week. So stay tuned for all the upcoming videos and don't forget to check out the merch on our website. Do not know who has this Jeep. All right, today's Thursday. Everyone's here. We're about to get in the truck and head up to Irwindale. You know we're a small team if we all carpool in the same vehicle. <laughs> Ooh, Irwindale. It's happening here. There's a lot of blue stuff over this way. It's the beginning of Thursday. We have practice at five, driver's meeting at four. For now, we're just unloading the trailer. How excited are you for this round? I'm excited. That's why you can hear the enthusiasm in my voice. Yeah, Montana. Why are you excited? Well, Jordan hasn't been to any of the events and for him to be here means a lot to all of us, so that's why I'm excited. And then it's the last round of the year and it's the last Irwindale. Irwindale's the best track. Sad to see it go. People are starting to roll in. There's next in. There he is. There's the rad man. What's up, Matt? How's it going? Good, good. Hey Brian, hey, what's up, man? how's it going? Okay, driver's meeting's over. Practice is gonna start here in like 15 minutes. Warming up the car. So we're here at Irwindale. Practice just started, we're waiting in line. We're just gonna start slow here and work our way to the line that we need for qualifying. So we'll start shallow, a little bit off the wall, kind of find uh, the right tire pressure and all the right settings that we need figured out by the We have a four hour practice, so hopefully we'll figure out how we need the car to feel by the end of that practice. So tomorrow we can have solid qualifying. Practice is like halfway through, a little less than that. We did maybe five passes so far. The car is way too tight, and then when the temperature drops, the grip level increases by a little bit, and so it's making it even tighter. Our next step is to put a bigger rear sway bar, so we're changing out. We haven't had a super clean lap yet, and it just hasn't felt perfect yet, so hopefully by the end of practice, we'll be where we want to be for tomorrow. Okay, it's nine o'clock. Practice is over. Don't mind the hair after a helmet hair. This is what we got. The Supra is running good. Suspension we had to tweak in all different ways that we haven't in the past to get it where we wanted it for this track. But by the end of practice, maybe let's say the last hour and 15 minutes, it started to feel like we needed to feel. And then we could push harder and ride the wall and kind of get our line down. I'm not gonna say it was great, but easily qualifying, but not like amazing yet. So we're gonna try and perfect that in our last little bit of practice. We get two hours and then doing qualifying tomorrow night. The team did a great job prepping the Supra beforehand. And during this were all these changes we made on the fly really quick. And we're all happy with how the outcome has been. Yeah. Fun job. Chris Forsberg, second lap out. He like kind of like followed um, Justin Pollock a little too close and, and Chris has a turbo car so it got turbo leg for a second when he got on off on off the throttle it caught and just shot him right into the wall head on cars don't like to go head on into a wall so that's all messed up mangled they're back at our shop right now like crunching to fix it and it punctured his intercooler and a couple other key elements so we're gonna scrounge together everything they can of what we have at the shop they have like probably 20 hours to get the car back together for qualifying but they need to test it kind of so they more likely they have like 13 hours and then to kind of get the bugs out of it so this is what we were talking about i made a boo-boo the, the downside of drifting there's <laughs> there's accidents but then the upside of drifting is like dan oh the upside <laughs> of drifting is adrenaline ah. okay so we can fix it we have the technology to fix it. Yes. 
He will be drifting yeah, again. Will it work? Yeah. We all made it here to the shop. Somehow in the middle of the night, Chris finished his car and it's gone. So that's good news. Um, we're just gonna load up into the truck and head to the track and try and make today amazing. Friday evening, we just did qualifying. It's been a busy day. A lot of stuff happened, so I haven't talked to you guys. We have an autograph session, and then we'll find out after that what we qualified, and then we'll update you guys at the end of the day. But tomorrow's the big day, so yeah, it is. tomorrow will be fun. We had the driver's meeting. I got 15th qualifying position, which means I lead on my first lap, and I'm up against Chris stops since he hurt the motor in his other car. Now he's driving the E92 Eurofighter, so it's some the coolest drift car on the planet, pretty much. That's it for today, for Friday at Irwindale. We're gonna all head back to the shop and we'll meet up again there in the morning, come back and do maintenance on the Super real quick, get it ready for battle tomorrow. All right, guys, see you later. All right, guys, what's happening? Chilling. Yeah. yeah, we're just gonna hang out right here. Yep. All, All day. day. Yeah, on just this like slab of cement. Actually, we're about to leave. Final day of FD. All right, no four square. Final fight, last day. Let's go. The guys got the Supra all up on stands. Check the turbo bolts, like I said. Change the oil, the trans fluid with some fresh Cointro. Just go over anything that could be a potential problem if we hadn't checked it for our battles later. But um, I gotta go over to Grady real quick, so let's go walk through here and see some of these show cars and see what's up. This car, we, this Leopard, we had worked on it before at the shop. See the Rad Industry sticker? We got to do some exhaust work. Nissan Leopard. <laughs> Last driver's meeting of the year. Ah, last one. Lots of stuff has happened right at the beginning of this event and like people blowing motors left and right, people hitting the wall. Ryan Turk went through two motors He's on a third motor right now. Just thankful that the super is working good. And then we just gotta drive it good later. Right, last driver's meeting of the year. Serious guy over here. Are my teeth clean? Yeah, I think so. That was a long one. Okay, so good driver's meeting. Now it's time to go drive. Yeah, practice. Practice, get the car to feel how we need it at this current temperature and get ready to battle. All right, let's go. Walk in here and wish I was driving and I'll just watch the other people drive. Hey guys. But it'll be good. Stay positive, right? Hey guys. So the last that we were videoing was on our way up to watch uh, Top 16. 